Now, there seems to be no end to the tussle between the Mahavikas Aghari after the alliance announced 85-seat formula between the three alliance partners. As per sources, 85 formula has not gone down well between both Congress and the Sena UBT, who are eyeing a larger share and expecting 100 plus seats for the Maharashtra Assembly elections. Now, despite the Mahavikas Aghari previously agreeing on an equal seat sharing formula, Congress party's Vijay Vadetivar yesterday claimed that the grand old party will be the big brother in the alliance and will be contesting on more than 85 seats in the state. साधारण शंबर एकशे पांच या दरमियान राहल एक सगै चर्चे मध्य आम आकड़ा किसी शंबर अवा एक वीस अपेक्षा संख्या बल किसी अधिक जागा पदरात पड़ून गिने पिक्षा मेरिट वर जागा वाटप अमत वच्चा मुद्धा होता and there is a tussle going on in Mahavikas Gahari on 15 to 17 seats of Maharashtra. And these seats include uh, the seats in Mumbai and Vidarbha region. Other than this, 33 seats have been left for the smaller parties to be discussed and finalized. Now, representatives of the smaller parties met senior leader Sharad Pawar, who assured that everything will be finalized by today. Samajwadi Party Maharashtra Chief Abu Azmi has dared Sharad Pawar to conclude discussion by today or he will release list of 25 candidates in the state. क्या बातचीत हुई शरद पवार साहब से कुछ आश्वासन है पवार साहब ने कहा कि बिल्कुल आप आप आराम से बैठिए और कल दोपहर तक हम पक्का कर पक्का कर लेंगे दोपहर तक दोपहर तक पक्का हो जाएगा सीटें आपकी जो सीट मांग है वो जायज है हम कोशिश करेंगे आपको पांच सीटें वो मिले और अगर पांच सीटें नहीं मिलेंगी मैंने कहा कि फिर नहीं मिलेंगे तो फिर मैं आजाद पंची की तरह से जो चाहूँ करूँ मैं पच्चीस सीटें आप लड़ेंगे पच्चीस पक्का लड़ूंगा लेकिन आपको लगता है पेज सुलझ जाएगा क्योंकि काफी समय बीत गया नहीं मालूम आप मुझे लगता नहीं ये लोग अगर ऐसी करेंगे तो अफसोस होगा मुझे तो महाविकास आघाड़ी में छोटी पार्टियों को रिस्पेक्ट मिल रही है या नहीं मिल रही मिल रही नहीं मिल रही बिल्कुल नहीं मिल रही And the Congress party has hit back at Abu Azmi's statement saying that we haven't taken any seats in Uttar Pradesh and supported Samajwadi party. He also added that in Maharashtra some seats have been offered to the Samajwadi party. UP also the thing has been respected, no? So how, so can we expect but we we supported the Samajwadi Party in uh, Uttar Pradesh. We have not taken any seat. But here we are giving them some seats. Definitely Samajwadi Party is a part of Magavika Sagadi. CPM is a part of Magavika Sagadi. CPA is a part of Magavika Sagadi. And uh, Aam Aadmi Party is a part of... We are giving representation to all the parties. But uh, seats are limited. That is the question. नहीं हम लोग उनका समाधान करेंगे हमारी बातचीत जारी है और कुछ सीटें उनके लिए हमने छोड़ के भी रखा है और ये भी है कि अगर कोई जगह हमारे हिस्से में आती है तो हम भी उनको देने के लिए तैयार रहेंगे हम लोग एक साथ इंडिया आगाड़ी जैसी लड़ी थी वैसे महाविकास आगाड़ी में भी हम लोग उसी तरह लड़ना चाहते हैं इसमें कोई दो राय नहीं है और थोड़ा ही नाराजी भी वजह भाई की समय लगा क्योंकि तीन पार्टियाँ एक साथ लड़ रही है तो सीट शेयरिंग में समय लगा Meanwhile, both the Congress and the Sena UBT have released their second list of candidates. Congress in total have a released list of 71 candidates, whereas Shiv Sena UBT have fielded 80 candidates till now. And my colleague Atul is now joining us uh, on this story with more details. Atul, uh, smaller parties in the Mahavikas Aghari claim that they are not being respected by the big uh, three key players. And in fact, Abu Azmi has even dared that if uh, the finalized seats are not declared by today, he will himself declare 25 candidates from the Samajwadi party. What is the update on the declaration and the final seat sharing formula for the smaller parties in the Mahavikas Aghari? See, today, uh, two senior leaders, we have met two senior leaders in the morning. Uh, uh, I have just met uh, uh, Sanjay Raut and asking the same question about the Abu Azmi ultimatum. He said, we will settle it down. Uh, the smaller parties shouldn't be impatient. They should relax. We are uh, trying to uh, resolve all the issues. And he had assured that uh, uh, they will, uh, especially the Samajwadi Party uh, leader Abu Azmi, 
uh, will be we can beat the uh, good amount of uh, seats but uh, as far as uh, number of seats is concerned he hasn't uh, sanjay raut hasn't uh, make a shot that uh, uh, samajwadi demand will be fulfilled of five seats on the other hand uh, congress leader uh, nasim khan has also uh, spoken to us he also said by to the later tonight or tomorrow the final settlement of the seats will be uh, done and uh, the final formula of seat distribution will be also uh, uh, will be uh, explained uh, to the media and uh, a press conference will be done on the same uh, the final uh, numbers of seat will be uh, uh, distributed by the seat formula will be distributed by later tonight and, uh, and on the same uh, on the same hand Uh, Abu Azmi is also visiting YB Chauhan right. Center where Sharad Pawar is uh, uh, right now. All uh, right, Atul, thank meeting. you for getting us all those uh, details. And uh, the top leadership of the Congress met at the party's headquarters yesterday to deliberate on the candidates list for the Maharashtra Assembly elections. Now, according to sources, Rahul Gandhi is apparently upset with the Maharashtra Congress leaders over negotiating talks with the alliance partners. Leader of opposition Rahul Gandhi expressed displeasure on the seats given to Shiv Sena UBT in the region of Mumbai and Vidarbha, stating that the state leaders did not play proper role during negotiation talks. No, no, these are all false news. Nothing is there. I don't know where this news has spread. No, uh, Rahulji is not at all upset. Rahulji was throughout in that meeting. Today also he will be in the meeting. And we are uh, discussing seat by seat. And we are taking decisions on winnability. My colleague Niyamika is joining us with more details on this. Niyamika, could you give us more details about what exactly transpired in the Congress CEC meeting yesterday? We're learning according, according to sources that Rahul Gandhi was apparently upset with the Maharashtra Congress leaders. Well, yes, uh, clearly uh, there are some kind of differences amid that the uh, NBA partners and that's the only reason why there is a continuous delay in the formal announcement for the seat sharing uh, formula for uh, the assembly elections. As uh, uh, yesterday also during the CEC meeting, Rahul Gandhi has also expressed his displeasure uh, before the state leaders uh, of Maharashtra Congress uh, stating that uh, it is not right on their part for not uh, being able to negotiate those seats where uh, the Congress party is having a strong hold specifically uh, in the Vidarbha and the Mumbai. by area and for that reason they have also asked the state leaders to uh, specify all these seats before the mba partners as regarding this because they are also saying uh, that uh, uh, in those areas there is a strong hold of the congress party and the seat sharing formula needs to be decided on the basis of merit as uh, the congress party uh, needs to get a uh, uh, more number of seats as compared to the other alliance partners including shiv sena and the ncp and that fault is being communicated by rahul gandhi to the state leaders as that not just this but in fact we have also got to know about this information that rahul gandhi has asked the state leaders to uh, represent uh, to give representation to the obcs in the candidate list as well because he has said that the manner in which congress party is continuously raising the issue of caste census and the uh, opportunities which needs to be given to the obcs that is not being implemented on the ground and that's the only reason why he has said that instead of favoring those who, uh, uh, who are close to the top leaders of the uh, state leadership in maharashtra congress they should give the opportunities to the obcs so that this message can be spread across the state ahead of the assembly elections all right niyamika thank you for all those details and for that context